Hi, my name is Jihan Zhang, and I am uh, going to be a freshman at Duke University. Uh, I am not an author, but I work closely with uh, these people at Columbia University. Um, okay, so as I said before, I'm not an co-author, so please email forf at cs.columbia.edu if you have any questions. Um, so the version of the Enron email corpus that the authors worked with contained over, I mean, almost 300,000 emails generated by almost 100,000 100, people. And the standard task on the corpus is to predict dominance relations given those email texts and metadata. Um, so there have been generally two approaches to this problem of uh, predicting dominance relations. Uh, uh, social network analysis based and natural language processing based. Uh, early work in social network analysis based is Joe et al. 2007, but uh, the problem is that they did not provide quantitative evaluation methods. So we weren't able to compare with their system. Um, natural language processing based. Bramson et al. 2011. Uh, the limitation is that they do not have a test set that we can, so that we weren't able to compare our system with theirs. Gilbert 2012. Uh, because they were using NLP features, um, they can, their system can only make prediction if they have to complete email exchange between uh, two people, which is the case for only 19% of the gold standard. So the same authors, Agarwal et al. 2012, they also uh, worked on this problem before. Um, so in 2012, they released a much larger gold standard of uh, employing dominance. Um, so that data set contained over 1,500 employees and uh, over 13,000 dominance pairs. Um, and they, in the same paper, they also contributed to a, uh, no, so, sorry, they also contributed a simple social network analysis technique that outperforms Gilbert's techniques by more than 5%. So, uh, oh yeah, let's take a look at this uh, example graph. So the nodes are the people and the edges are the email exchange. Um, so their system would first sort all the nodes by their degree centrality in the email network, and then whoever is higher up in the list would be considered be more significant than anyone who follows. Um, so motivation for this paper is that, as we know, Enron email corpus is, is a very biased subset of all email exchange because uh, we only have we do not have any email that are not to or from those 100, 158 core people requested by U.S. law enforcement. Uh, so the authors think that it is very important to extract those hidden links from the contents of emails instead of just the metadata of the emails. So let's take a look at this example email um, from Mary to Bill. So Mary says to Bill, hey, I went out to dinner with John today. Um, so traditional methods were only able to detect a link between Mary and Bill, so a dominance relation between Mary and Bill. They know nothing about John. Um, however, in this uh, system, the authors would, I mean, the system would add links between the sender, each recipient, in this case that we built, and each person mentioned. So ideally, we would get a graph like this, where um, John, Mary, Bill are all connected. So creating mention networks. So, so that network would be called a uh, mention network. So creating those networks. Uh, so, and they do the second thing, um, resolving those mentions with the following algorithm. So back to the same email um, that we looked at. So let's say that we have two Johns in the net. So see, John is mentioned, but we do not, the machine does not know um, which John he's, uh, I mean, Mary is referring to. So let's suppose there are two Johns in the network, uh, John Chen and John Smith. Um, so the system will pick whoever's closer to both the sender and recipient. 
So for in this case, John Chen is distance one to Mary and distance one to Bill. So one plus one equals two. So John Chen has a distance of two for this purpose. Uh, John Smith is distance one to Mary. However, uh, he is distance two to Bill because he had to go. He has to go to Mary first. Um, so he has a distance of three. So we 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 pick whoever's. I mean, the authors pick whoever's closer to the sender and recipient. So in this case, that would be John Chen. Um, and uh, this method outperformed Minkow Fatal 2006 by more than 6%. And two additional method, I mean, sorry, two ex additional experiments showed that um, minimizing the drawing distance from the sender to mention and recipient to mention performs better than the individual distances performs better than when they um, minimize the individual distances. So in order to achieve the best performance, they, the authors also tried many variations. They tried weighted or unweighted network. They tried uh, email only, mention only, or combined network. Um, so once they have the network, they tried to use in-degree, out-degree, or degree centrality to predict the uh, significance of people in the era hierarchy. Um, and while constructing the network, they also tried linking the mentioned person to the sender, recipients, or both. So if we were to um, add a link from the mention to the sender, that would be John to Bill, but not John to Mary. Uh, sorry, John. Oh, excuse me. So linking from the mention to the sender would be John to Mary, and then linking to the Sender to recipient will be John to Bill. Um, I hope that's clear. Um, so, looking at the uh, this experiment itself, we the authors found out that the worst system, which has links from mention to recipients, performed better than the best system, which has links between mention and the sender. Uh, therefore, it is better to add links from mentioned person to recipients instead of the sender. Um, overall results. So the mention-only network performed uh, better than the email-only network uh, when the mention network is, uh, is produced using degree centrality. Mention network, which has links, which has undirected links to, from the mention to the recipient. Uh, it performs performed better than the uh, their 2012 paper um, by more than 2%. And um, interestingly, the, if, you, if we combine the two networks, email-only network and mention-only network, we actually perform worse than the uh, email network, uh, sorry, excuse me, than the mention network alone. Um, so here's uh, two examples why that might be a good idea to create, to use that mention network. So uh, these three people are actual people in the Enron Corporation. Uh, John Lavarato is was the COO and um, he had less, so if, if uh, in the old email network he had less degree centrality than just a trader Philip K. Allen. So that would be a wrong um, prediction if we were using email network, but mention network uh, predicted the uh, their dominance relation correctly. Um, also, that is the case for David and Philip uh, in the second, uh, in the last two rows as well, uh, where email networks did predict it wrong, but mission network did it correctly. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it. And uh, please read the paper for any uh, details. And it will be the best if uh, you have any questions. Go shoot the fourth and email at the fourth at CS at Columbia ID. Thank you. So, uh, do you have any questions? Well, let's thank our speaker.